Hi guys, and welcome to today's percent review activity. We're putting this in the real life, and we're gonna have you pretend to work at a restaurant. We're working at Pedro's Cactus Grill, which is a Mexican restaurant. Okay, now some of the tickets that you'll fill that you'll work on are already filled out. They already have the numbers all in. And they'll tell you what they want you to do. So you're going to have to find the total for the food and then calculate tax. And some of them have you calculate tip as well. Okay. So um, we're going to actually do this one. It's a blank ticket that you get to fill out. All right. So here's the menu. Here's the order. And then here is our blank ticket. So this says... Susan treats her family to dinner. They order one beef taco, one chicken taco. So if I was filling this out, I'd put tacos times two. Okay, and then we come up here. Taco is 250 each. So two tacos is going to be $5. Okay, filled in. Um, next, one bean enchilada one cheese enchilada, so we need two enchiladas. So on the ticket, I'm gonna write enchiladas times two. Okay, two of those is going to be 640. And I don't know if they intended to have you write each taco and each enchilada down. You can totally do that if you want to. So you could write taco, taco, enchilada, enchilada, and just put the single prices down. I guess I'm just trying to be efficient because that's, you know, what I do. All right. Uh, bean enchilada, cheese enchilada, one order of nachos with chicken, nachos with chicken, nachos with, so that's $6, right, let's see, and four soft drinks, that's the sodas, so we want sodas on our ticket, soda times four, and so I'm actually gonna throw that in the calculator because I don't want to multiply by four in my head. Two is one thing, four is another. That's six dollars and sixty cents. Okay. Then it says the special that day is buy one taco or enchilada, get the second one free. Oh, looks like we should have read the whole thing before we started filling this out. Which means the taco and the enchilada we're gonna put back to the price of one, because it's buy one, get one free. So we're back down to for taco, it's two fifty, and enchilada, it is three twenty. Ooh, that helps. All right. How much is their bill, including tax? But we're not worrying about tip. Okay. So we want to find the subtotal. We're gonna add all of those up. So six sixty is already there. I'm gonna use that because you know, being efficient. Plus six dollars plus 320 plus 250. So their subtotal is $18.30. Okay, then we want to find the tax. It said on the paper tax is 7%. So we need to take 7% of 1830. To do that, we're going to multiply 1830 by the decimal form of the percent times 0.07. And that gets us, our tax is, we're gonna round that to the correct change. So it's 1.28 or $1.28. And then I'm gonna, for the final total, add those two up, okay? So 1830 plus $1.28, and that gives us 1958, okay? Then if we wanted to throw in a tip, because we're nice humans, okay, we don't usually pay tip on the tax, so you look at the tip for the subtotal, and like I said, I tend to do a 20% tip just because A, it's easy to estimate, and B, I'm a nice human. Okay, so from 1830, if we wanna find a 20% tip, because again, I'm a nice human, I'm going to multiply that by the decimal form of the percent, which is $3.66. So if we add in, this is the final total with tip, 
add those together. So plus 19.58. And we have spent 23.24 all together. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the basic idea. On this one, the instructions, it didn't say anything about the tip. I just wanted to throw that in as well. Okay. Um, yeah, good luck figuring out on the Google Slides. And let me know if you have any questions. But like this, this the real world. This is percents in the real world, my friends.